how much more time you want to waste in this material. You are here. You are here to learn. You are here to grow. To grow old. Leave the childish play behind. Qualify yourself for a solid contribution in lifetime. Raise your kids. Then teach them everything you know and dedicate yourself entirely to spiritual purpose of life. You see, the child doesn't want to stop to play. We are denying our call to become mature. We don't want to be responsible. We don't want to grow old, enjoy, and accept that it's time to share wisdom with others. We are always living in denial, in one way or another. And this is the great mistake of the sensual existence. The illusion, maya, that what you can measure materially, is keeping us captured, enslaved, encaged into a situation where there's nothing but a coffin waiting for you and another life coming afterwards to reap the result of everything you did in this lifetime. And if you haven't done anything for spiritual advancement, if you haven't done anything to find out about your relationship with God, then you wasted your human form of life. And you are not even another human body guaranteed. If you gave trouble to the animals, if you gave trouble to other human beings, if you exploited them, if you cheated them, if you mistreated your family, if you abandoned your children, if you lived a life of sense gratification and intoxication, your human form of body, that chance is gone. You will simply have to go back into the cycle of birth and death to go through all the material desires and sufferings you have reaped as a result, accumulated result. This is not a joke to have a human form of life. This is a great responsibility. It's a great invitation. But you have to make something out of it. You have to approach those who know about the eternal soul. People are so silly today. They don't even know that there are spirit souls. They don't even know what is a soul. Even though even science, quantum mechanics have... Uh, the quantum physics have discovered that there is a soul which can collapse material conditions after all the different op options which are there. That there are higher influences. It's a clearly understood material result. It's information from the wise people of the past. But people don't know that they are souls. They think animals have no souls and they can kill them. Just like the people when they went to America and other parts of the world, the Europeans, they said, indigenous people have no souls, you can kill them. Just like in the past, people said, women have no soul, we can do with them whatever we want. Just the fact is that we don't know what the soul is. The soul is us, the spirit being, the conscious unit. That's the soul. If you don't live on the level of the soul and you waste your time just serving your body, then your life is wasted. At least this chance, this human body, this human form of life with this extraordinary capacity just wasted away listening to foolish people, re reading foolish books, watching silly movies or sitting in front of the internet playing games with other foolish people instead of developing your criteria, your own spiritual responsibility. That is what our spiritual master Srila Prabhupada taught us. Awaken to the reality. You are part of the reality, eternal reality. Your body is not eternal. You are not eternal. You are not eternally a baby, not a child, not a adolescent, not a middle age, married, old, any size, anything. You are not that. You're the soul, you're the conscious unit inside of a changing body. At the moment of death, you're just going to change again into another body, which is most likely going to be some dog, camel, hog, ass, who knows what. You reap what you thaw. 
That is the law. Action brings reaction. It's a universal law known to all. Even those who deny that they believe anything, they know Newton's law of physics that every reaction, action has a corresponding reaction. And for those who claim that they're Christians, they should know better. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Hmm? Those who kill with the sword will die by the sword. You see, it is a clear message from all sides. And we just don't want to awaken and take the opportunity. We don't want to dedicate ourselves because we are influenced by mundane selfishness propagated by our consumer society, which just wants to make you a foolish slave of the consumer society. A thoughtless, foolish slave. And you try to enjoy it, to be a foolish, thoughtless slave. But there's nothing enjoyable about it. It's a shame. It is a sad thing if we waste this human form of life. The Vedanta scripture says, Atato Brahma Yigyasa. This human form of life is for achieving self-realization. And I can only request you from the core of my heart, don't blow this opportunity. Take advantage and pray to God for guidance and help. He will come to your rescue. He will show you your own spiritual treasure inside of your heart. He will show you how you can know about the eternal reality. How you can join into the joy of divinity by becoming a humble servant of the perfect purpose of human life and all relationships. Thank you very much for listening to me. And if I could help you, if I could give you a little push into the right direction, then my life has been perfect by that. Thank you.